Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From the kingdom of Fife. We're going to be exploring the area over the next few days. This video is actually sponsored by Visit Scotland. Mm -hmm. They're going to be sending us on a bunch of adventures around the Fife area, which we are so excited to show off to you guys. First off, though, we are staying in this amazing little area. It's called Wigwam Holiday. It is so cute. It's on this farm. I, I think we're going to get to show you guys in a little bit. It's yeah. a deer farm, but there are sheep around here. There's some highland cows. Obviously, there are these little wigwams with these amazing hot tubs. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, check this hot tub out you guys It's it's <laughs> powered by like a wood fire, which I've never been in one of these before No, you have this metal box over here where you stuff logs in there and then it heats up and I guess the water Circulates through there comes out here and then you have a cold water tap here to fill it up and to cool it down Yeah, but it's very cool. Oh my gosh you guys we got in here last night. It was Perfect. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, we were all alone. It was so quiet. Also, maybe you can tell, I don't know, but I've been getting a little sick. So my, my little sick boy. My voice is going to be a little bit raspy today. Maybe she'll just do most of the talking. <laughs> but I'm not feeling that bad. I think I'm on the recovery end of it, hopefully. Yeah. So these little wigwams are absolutely amazing. They're actually really spacious when you walk in. They have a full little living and dining room. They have a little kitchen area with a stove and everything. And then this really comfortable bed all nooked back in the corner. And then they have a full bathroom with a shower. You can move around in there. It's pretty amazing how well laid out they are. And of course, it's in the most beautiful area ever. It's like our own little slice of land in the forest or something. You can hear all the birds chirping and everything. It's very nice. But we've got our fire going over there. We are getting ready to prepare some delicious campfire breakfast. Ooh, it's I gonna be good. Yeah. We'll see how it goes because we're notorious for not being the best at making campfire breakfast, yeah. but it'll be fun. <laughs> Breakfast is cooking up. We've got, um, I'm not, I don't have the best fire skills, but <laughs> I did the best that I could. Aww, it's so, yeah, we're trying to figure out how to get everything on here and get it all cooking, but it seems to be doing the trick. We've got zucchini on some skewers here, can of beans, which is a must for fire cooking. We've got some sausages on a couple more skewers here, and then some bacon up there in that pan. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's gonna it starts be good. cooking, we'll throw some eggs on there. Ooh, also, we made. Not iced coffee, we have no ice, but we made cold coffee, cold brew, I yeah, guess. So, really good. man, camping sometimes, or I guess glamping, is a lot of fun. Yeah, just the smell in the air is so nice. Yeah. yeah. We thought it was a good idea to have the bacon in the pan because we thought it would fall through these little cracks, but now we're realizing we gotta get a little fire on those. Yeah. Suckers. Yeah. Need to be smoking. I wish you guys could smell this fire. <laughs> You've got like food uh, mixed with the burning wood so and just good. the crisp, like, morning air. So yeah, nice. can you guys tell it's a little chilly out here in sweaters and hats, but it's really refreshing. Gotta love the peri peri sauce. I promise we're not sponsored by Nando's or anything. We're just obsessed. We just love it. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Oh man. Oh, and the bench is wet. Oh. <laughs> well, now our butts are wet. <laughs> Everything looks really good. Oh my gosh. We've got these delicious sausages over here with little char marks on them. We've also got some charred zucchini and then uh, some bacon over here and then it's all on top of a couple fried eggs. Yeah, we have some fresh strawberries and fresh strawberry jam and bread from the farm store just down the road, which was waiting for us when we got here. We got, of course, baked beans because ever since we had baked beans with our first traditional breakfast, we've been hooked and now you have to have them. All right, let's eat. I'm starving. Yeah. These are some of the best sausages I think we've had so far on this trip. They're really flavorful. And I think I said that the strawberries and jam and bread were from the farm store, but I forgot that pretty much everything is. The eggs, the bacon, the sausages, and we have some fresh milk in there. It is, I mean, you can get everything right here. It's amazing. So we are about to meet up with Nick who runs the place. 
I think he's gonna take us around so we can scope out the farm a bit. I think they have, it, it's a deer farm, he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So I think we'll get to see some of them. And then yeah. apparently there's some great views on the property. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Enter the deer area. I think this girl's getting pretty excited. I'm so excited. We saw a few. He said we'll probably get to touch them. <laughs> you guys, there's so many of them down there just chilling. They're so majestic looking. Hey guys, how's it going? Funny that they're so scared of me, but if they got close to me, I'd honestly be terrified of them. They look really strong. This guy's trying to sneak up on me. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're scaring them all off. It's cool. They make like a circle around you. <laughs> well, you're just adorable. <laughs> oh, you're really soft, too. Oh. <laughs> I feel like she's going to lick my face. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I think Eric's in love. This is my new pet. You're coming with me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, have fun today. Okay, we'll do fine. Well, that was amazing. We I had a blast. We're gonna become deer farmers and live in a wigwam now. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool though. Getting being able to get so close yeah. to some of the deer and I'm stuff. I'm just hearing the whole herd rushing around you. Yeah. It was absolutely <clears throat> unreal. They're majestic was, animals. Oh, yeah, it was it's so great. cool. And then we got a pet Ruby. Oh, I don't think I've ever petted deer in my life. That yeah. was so cool. Yeah, she was so sweet. Yeah. But we're going to be linking to uh, all the information for this place in the description below. Yeah. We highly encourage you guys to book it if you're anywhere near the area. We are having an absolute blast hanging out here. The wigwams that we're staying in are amazing. They're like brand new. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, really cool. Nick was saying sometimes he does take guests when they come um, out to see the deer. So make sure you ask about that if yeah. you come and stay here. Oh, and they'll be moving some of the deer up to this part, actually, that is the hope. So on the property now, you can see cows, some highland cows, regular cows and sheep um, nearby, but soon the deer will be up here for you to check out as well. But now I think we're going to head to the coast and explore it a bit, and then we're gonna grab some grub. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> For lunch, we have come to the Cocoa Tree Cafe in the lovely little seaside village of Pit and Weem. There are quite a few little villages around here, but I think we're gonna go explore them properly tomorrow. We have both ended up with their, I think their famous three bean soup. Uh, we got the chorizo variety. You could do it vegan as well, but it's this adorable little cafe. They have all sorts of soups and salads and crepes. And we got a little spot of tea. She stuck with some coffee. I did, although, <laughs> Right as we sat down, the sun popped out, so I probably should have gotten it iced, but that's okay. I got my hot latte, hot soup. I got a little bit of bread here, and they say to add some Tabasco sauce to this. I think it must be like chili-esque, yeah. it smells so good. Chili looks really tasty. I think the chorizo is like extra to add, and I think that was a good idea. Let's give it a try. It's nice and simple too. It's just chili in a white plate. It's really nice. It's really flavorful and nice and hearty. Very good. The chili is missing one thing though, Tabasco. <laughs> Let's get a couple drops of that in there. Oh yeah. How much is a lot? I don't know. <laughs> you can go, go bigger. Is that a, a lot? Sure. <laughs> Look at the size of some of these beans. <laughs> That's a big They're one. They're <laughs> freaking huge. I don't know if I've ever really come across beans that big before. 
Y'all, after lunch, we were just gonna stroll down to the water, to the harbor. And then when we were checking out, we, we were telling them like, oh yeah, we saw the cave that's on the way down to the water. And they said, oh, the cave, yeah. They give you a little pamphlet and a key so you can go inside the cave. I thought we yeah. would just have to like look at it from afar. But check this out. Yeah, so we're so going in here. Yeah, you can pick it up at the Cocoa Tree Shop or there's the little gallery, which I think was next door to it. And then for one pound, you can come and go in this cave. Did I do it? Oops. Oh, I did it. Go. My gosh. Let's go see what this is about. So the cave is pretty small. It's just kind of this room and this room. I think it's kind of like an altar over there. That this was formed by erosion and it was at sea level. And then I guess through that process, it just got moved upward. And now it's right here. Oh yeah, because sea level isn't too far right down there. Yeah. And they said that during, there would have been a river running through here afterwards, which would have carved it out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's neat. It's had a lot of history here. Well, I think we're going to end this video here and break this day up into two days because we are still actually about to head out to the Isle of May. Yes. And then after that, we are going to have a delicious, delicious dinner. We're going to get some fish and chips, Ooh. which we have yet to have since we came back to the UK. Can you yes. believe that? We've, I don't think we've ever tried them in Scotland. So I hope your fish and chips are ready for us because <laughs> we're ready for them. But anyways, I think we're going to leave you guys here and pick up in our next video. Make sure you don't miss that video because it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And another huge shout out to Visit Scotland for sponsoring this video. Yeah. So far, have, we're having a blast here. And I hope yeah. you guys are enjoying coming along with us. a lot more cool stuff coming up. So definitely stay tuned for all of it. All right. Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>